This demo uses datasets pulled from a fictitious automotive company, selling its different models across geographies to showcase data insights on the company's sales, recalls, and loan information. The company stores their data in Amazon S3. It is then transformed using AWS Glue and stored in Amazon Redshift's data warehouse before being brought into our QuickSight account for data analysis. With Amazon SageMaker Canvas, predictions of the loan data were added and modeled to create the loan status insights in QuickSight. These data sources are ready to create an analysis in QuickSight. Using Amazon Q, we will build a dashboard and ask questions on our data. Then we will build a data story to bring to our executive leadership to help guide them on long-term company growth based on current auto sales performance. With Amazon Q, we can build our first visual to show total sales by model. Q generates a horizontal line graph of the types of car models by sales in millions. Let's try another one. Let's ask Q to build a specific type of data visual. For example, we say we want sales for model across region as a Sankey. Now let's try creating a visual that we can edit with Q. Here we have generated a table showing total sales and total profit by region and subregion. Let's say we want to add conditional formatting to highlight low profit earners. We can ask Q to color red when profit is less than 200,000 and it will add this to our visual. Now let's say I want to add a calculated field for quarter over quarter percent change in sales. Q can generate the correct syntax and then use that field to create a visual of our choosing. This looks good, but instead let's see the data as bars. That looks better. With Q topics, we can add additional context and intent to our dashboard. The topic understands the semantics behind the data. It brings in synonyms of our field names that our users may refer to and allows for more question variations to be asked. For example, if we link the topic to this analysis, we can ask Q to compare monthly sales for Addo and Rainier and show as a vertical stacked bar chart, specifying two types of categories in the model field for Q to analyze. After completing the analysis by adding multiple sheets of our data and formatting a theme with our company branding, here's what the final dashboard looks like. As a Reader Pro in QuickSight, I can create executive summaries that Amazon Q generates using the dashboard's data. Q provides me a brief narrative of which fields are included in the summary and gives insights on order numbers during 2023. The top three sales reps and which models and styles sold the most, and even tells us interesting sales trends that occurred. Let's dig into the data some more. I'm interested in seeing what's going on in this monthly summary report. It looks like Latin America was the only region that declined in the number of cars sold. I wonder why. Amazon Q can help me understand this. I'm going to ask you why sales declined in LATAM in March 2023, to which it tells me the top four key drivers that contributed to its decrease. I can see which sales representative, city, model, and country in that region impacted the decline in sales. I want to learn more about the car sales in Latin America, so I ask Q for its monthly sales. Q interprets my question as total sales by month for subregion LATAM and gives me a brief narrative summarizing the data. It also gives me multiple visuals to look at different types of views of the data, including total sales in LATAM, the total sales by month as a line chart, a horizontal bar chart showing sales by customer, and a table that provides order details for all regions. My team needs to present a report to our executive leaders. Using Amazon Q, I can get help building a report with a data story. I want to write a story that highlights sales performance and provides a recommendation for long-term growth. Once I choose visuals for my dashboard I want included, Q will generate a story with a unique title and accompanying insights from the visuals that answer my prompt. Q has built me a story with sections for different views of the sales data and even some recommendations on how to strategize for long-term company growth. In this section, let's say I want to change the formatting of these insights. If I choose to edit with Q, I have the option to make the highlighted section of text shorter, longer, or make them bullet points instead. The framework Q provided allows me to easily customize each section and edit the text to any additional information and insights I'd like to see. After I finish my own edits, I also want to update the style of the story. Now with my data story completed, I can publish and share it with my team to review before sending our final report.